All right, this is such a big... Oh, oh, I have so much hair, guys. Leave a like right now, and my hair is going to be cut. Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, there we go. I feel so much cleaner. That's... Thank you guys so much for leaving a like. I really, really needed a haircut. So, guys, welcome back to today's video. Use star code POKE when you guys do purchase Robux because we have some news today that is literally going to knock your socks off. Wait, wait, not, not actually knock off your socks, guys. Don't think your socks are going anywhere, okay? Today is a very big day. I think that I started the snowball of life. When I, when I say that I did this, I don't mean I did this, but I'd like to say that I started the snowball of brand new custom username guys because yes the title is true custom names are common to roblox but not in the way that you think okay so let's get into that and let's talk about it so this is where i saw this okay i saw a tweet from the roblox developer relations and it says introducing display names a new feature coming later this year while you think about what your display name will be you should also consider updating instances of player name to player dot display name that's like for developers but ladies and gentlemen if you don't know what this means pretty much display names are common so if you guys take a look at my twitter you guys could see that my at is poke digger one now my at on roblox is poke digger one but there's gonna be display names which is poke okay pretty much your display name is something that kind of shows up that isn't your at so like this is my display name i could change this to literally like pokey 500 or something i'm not changing that but that's what a display name is okay and so i tweeted out about this and because this is what i think might be an issue display names are rolling out over the next few months display names will allow you to create a separate name and appear in most most places around Roblox. So this is the issue. Anybody can use the same display name. Anybody can have the at poke. Anybody can have the at Megan place. Anybody can have the at flamingo, which is a very big issue. Impersonators are going to be at all time high. I thought this was going to prevent this. So I'm going to read into this and explain that because this scares me. Okay. Hey there developers. We're excited to introduce a new feature that will help you express yourself. Display names. We'll be rolling this feature out slowly over the next few months and we'll update it once it's turned on for everyone. So display names versus usernames so usernames are globally unique names that could be used to identify an account so a username is poke digger one or mr flim flam or like forsaken which is uh, i think tofu so pretty much how that goes is that's your real at that's your real deal okay but then after display names are rolled out your username will be prefixed with an at so pretty much guys my username on roblox is at poke digger one but my display name is going to be poke but anybody can make your display name poke. Okay, read this. Display names are not unique. With the introduction of this feature, your display name will be what appears in places such as chat, player list, and over your game character's head. So if someone puts their display name as poke, they're gonna literally be able to say something as poke. So I wanted to argue this to Roblox and say like, yo, anybody should be able to change their name. I regret saying that because now people are gonna be able to put the display name as anything, okay? Gone are the days of being cool Roblox fan 43732. You could now be cool roblox fan which guys it's great you know i'm so excited for a bunch of people to have a brand new display name especially if your name is like monkey man 500 too. If that's your name, I'm giving you Robux. I did not mean to make fun of you like that. But now you could just be Monkey Man, okay? But that's the issue. Anybody could be Monkey Man. Anybody could be Poke. So, bro, like when I go on Roblox, people can set their display name as Poke. Like, what? You will still use your unique username to log in and users will still be able to see your current username, but you will now be able to choose a display name that you prefer to be shown to everyone without the limitations of needing it to be something unique. Well, most places on Roblox will show your display name, although your unique username will be visible on your profile. That means that if you have your display name as Poke, it's gonna be probably seen as Poke everywhere. Now, guys, don't get the wrong idea. I, I, I get all y'all are hyped right now, okay? The impersonation videos are gonna be amazing, but what if, a, once, what if someone's they poke and they scam someone like that's on poke now but like that oh uh, this that that's what i'm talking about if okay right, let's keep going how to set display name slash limitations updating your display name will not cost any robux and will be available to all users so like at the same time it's such a cool thing but we need to make sure that star creators are not going to be able to be impersonated and guys i'm not trying to sound entitled like literally at all this is actually an issue if someone is my if someone is named poke and they scam someone that's on poke. That's not on the person. That's literally, they're going to be tweeting me like, oh, you scam me. Like, no, like someone else did. So that's why I'm tweaking. I'm not tweaking because someone can be named poke. I don't care if someone's poke. 
that's fine. I mean, if they're a fan of me, that's fine. I just don't want someone to be named Poke Digger One or Poke and be like, hey, like I'm a YouTuber, like I'm gonna give you Robux and then like you scam them. Display names will still need to be verified by our filters. So yeah, I guess this is just like the filter, you know, like with like the like hashtags, obviously, you know, you can't have your display name be something bad. So that's good. If you choose not to set a display name, it will default to match your username. So AKA, it's just gonna be your display name would be your at, okay? D AKA your username. Currently, you are limited to changing display names once every seven days, which is pretty good because you can't just like, you know, change it and then change it and then change it again and then again and again. Like that's that's pretty good. I like that Roblox. And then the length of your display name must be between three to 20 characters. We can encourage you to use player chosen identity as much as possible in your games. We suggest using player dot display name when you would usually normally use player dot name when it comes to front facing content. User IDs can still be used anywhere. You may notice that the humanoid is properly named display name as well. And when the engine loads a character, it'll I'm not a developer. I don't understand any of this, but I guess the devs are probably loving it. So let's read some replies. This is the most liked reply and I love it. Okay. Was this feature made with risk of impersonation in mind? I can imagine malicious user using this to impersonate reputable community members or Roblox staff. Like, dude, yeah, literally imagine but pretending to be a Roblox moderator or literally a developer. Like this is more than just YouTuber issues, guys. This is anybody that has a reputation on Roblox and display names follow the same rules as username, making this kind of useless. We can't have emoji spaces, hyphens, cool idea in theory. The UX just seems confusing. And guys, honestly, this is kind of scary. It's nice to see this being implemented in Roblox. It'll be great for people who role play. Oh, I mean the role plays now. It's going to be a game changer. However, I have concerns about people abusing it to impersonate other people. Guys, again, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this considering this gives players a chance to impersonate others. Along with this, it will be hard to track of users within the game if they're exploiting, abusing glitches, etc. If someone is display named Poke and they start griefing or hacking on a server, dude, that's on the name Poke. Like this is a tweak. Someone said right here, another issue would be with two users with the same display name. How would this be handled? Like literally, what if I'm filming a video and someone just becomes Poke and then they start typing as I'm Poke. I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna be able to read that chat bubble as well, bro. Yeah, guys, going through all these replies, I mean, so many people are tweaking about the impersonation factor. Impersonation, I, I literally, I can, hold on impersonation 50 plus results for impersonation dude oh everybody is talking about it bro this is gonna be a very big issue but i give faith and i give credit to roblox for you know trying to step up and do something people literally responded and they were like this is so dumb on twitter and a few other people were saying it's gonna be cool i think this is gonna be the way that this could all be fixed a simo 3089 a very large developer tweeted oh boy i hope i can get my display name verified which yeah, guys, I think personally, developers and star creators should be able to do the display name first and then verify it, okay? Because we're not gonna change our display name. Like, that's not something we're gonna do, I think. So, like, I think if they can stay displayed and verified, that would be amazing. With the recent announcement of display names, the outlook is grim. We've seen the popular social media platforms that have separate usernames and display names, and it, the work it takes to successfully impersonate someone is insanely easy. With the new addition, I'm calling for Roblox to add a proper verification system them for developers, star creators, and staff. Yeah, those are the three. Developers, star creators, and staff, they need to be verified. Like, that is, th there's no question about this, guys, seriously. And we have a YouTuber. He tweeted this out. So Roblox is launching display names. I've read the article. And guys, right here, you could see the example he'd put. That is such a cool verification thing. There needs to be verification, especially with display names coming. Maybe they're already doing it and they're just not talking about it. I'm giving Roblox full faith. You know, I feel like a lot of people are angry at this, but there has to be a way they're looking around this, guys. They're not not just doing this and they know what's going to be coming with the risk of impersonation like they do like i'm not mad at roblox i have full faith they're going to figure this out seems like a lot of people just always jump to conclusions with this type of stuff but i mean i just do it to get y'all to click the video but like in the end we're gonna be okay i think what is happening with my camera well, my camera started working again. I love y'all so much. We're going to end it off here. This is kind of what it would look like, I think. I think the poke would probably go under the at, but it's going to be ats now, okay? You're going to start seeing some ats, guys. Roblox is becoming a social media, and I'm for it. Love y'all. Goodbye. <laughs>